um, you and I had talked offline about how there was a definite difference from when you joined the world of real estate. And it wasn't so much because of real estate. Mm -hmm. It was more the, the tools and techniques and the mindset shift that happened for you once you entered that environment. Mm -hmm. So talk to everybody. We have, you know, moms on here. We have inside sales agents on here, team owners, just mm -hmm. a whole mix of people. What would you say are the core things that shifted for you? You know, you'd run a marathon before, before real estate and then you've had even more success since then. Like, what was the difference? I think it boils down to two things. The first is the people that I was surrounding myself with. Not that I didn't have good friends before, not that my family is still wonderful to this day, but I never was taught to intentionally focus on down the line. I mean, you know, you hear about what do you want people to say about when you when you die, but do you ever do anything with that today? Um, so that was, that was part of it is who I was surrounding myself with and therefore the conversations we were having. And then very closely related to that, I believe, was just giving myself the freedom, the ability, the desire to have dreams. Because again, I really had never done that. You know, you get done with college, you find a job, eventually you get married, you have kids, and then you retire and then you're done. But actually planning out what I wanted to do in, in the interim, on the daily, on the monthly, on the weekly, the yearly, whatever it is basis, I had never actually spent any time dreaming. And you surround yourself with and then giving yourself license to dream. Yeah. So let me start with the first one. Okay. Somebody's saying, okay, so you had friends before, Mm -hmm. What was different about the people you started hanging around once this shift happened? Like what, if I'm out there thinking, well, I want to surround myself by a different type of crowd that can help my success. Yeah. What are the traits of those people? So the biggest thing that comes to mind when you ask me that is somebody who's entrepreneurial. So go find somebody who is like, started their own business. Um, we hear so much about network marketing these days, and I'm not gonna say that I love every aspect of network marketing, but there are a lot of people out there who have started a network marketing business and have changed their family's lives. And I bet you you've got a friend who's reached out to you on Facebook asking for your business that you probably ignored just like I do, that you could connect with and be like, you know, I, I want what you have, not the business, but I wanna learn how to dream like you have. Um, so that would be one thing that I would say, like, look for that. Just look around you because there are people all around who have, you know, that, who have that entrepreneurial mindset. For sure. Um, there's something about a to-do list of here's the things I want to accomplish before I die. And you kind of alluded to this, Annalisa, but just last year I started thinking, who do I want to be? Mm -hmm. So I can have a to-do list, but I also want to have a to be yeah. like, because what I found for myself last year is I got so wrapped up in the doing of I have this goal and this goal and I have this accomplishment mm -hmm. and I need to save this amount of money and I need to hire this amount of people that it's almost like I lost myself in that process of who I wanted to be. Yeah. So it was like be a giving person, be, be someone who's very family and uh, friend relationship oriented. Mm -hmm. And so that really points to who you surround yourself with. Think of, for all of you listening, who do you want to be? Mm -hmm. have just as much of a factor of what do you want to accomplish when you choose those people. That's who I want to surround. That's the type of person I want to surround myself with. Yeah. If you want success, you can find successful business people that are just horrible people. <laughs> <laughs> we won't name names. Um, or you can find successful business people that are awesome people mm -hmm. and you get to choose who you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. yeah.